Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're working on a Troy Belt push mower. It's a TB105B. It's a 21 inch cut. They brought it in, and I go, Where's the gas cap? And they says, Well, they lost it a few moments ago. And it's, it rains here all the time, so I can just imagine there's either grass or dirt or water in there, but it don't want to run. But I could probably take a guess it has something to do with something that will be in the gas tank that went in the carburetor. So hope you enjoy the video. So we're going to go and take the recoil and top housing off. So when you get to the tank, because the tank slides up out of a few notches. And when you're going, well, that wasn't even on there right either. Let's see all that dirty stuff on the filter. I can just imagine what's all in the gas tank. We need a 5 16 to take this top off. There's three, three bolts. This is a Briggs motor. It's a 500E 140 cc engine. It's pretty common engine on a lot of these push mowers. We'll just slide that tank up like that. Like rocks or something in the gas tank. <laughs> take the hose clamp off. And we take these hoses off these carb. These carbers are plastic, so you gotta be really careful taking that off. We'll go ahead and drain this out so we can blow it out really good. Now we'll take this air filter base off the carburetor. And you need a 5 16 for two screws, and we need a 9 30 second. For two screws, there's four screws to hold that on there. We'll do the two 5 16ths first. And hook the vent tube there. Like I said, these carbers are plastic, so we got to be careful. Just pull this straight out. And unhook the governor linkage. And you got this. O-ring, got to put that back in there, and then this little plastic lock, push in there till it clicks. You can see right now, I dumped this out, there's a whole bunch of water, a whole bunch of water in the carburetor. I'm going to spray this off a little bit before we tear it apart. Okay, these two screws on the bottom are 930 seconds. And this bowl's kind of pressed down there. So we need a screwdriver. And just gently gently pry on these. So it pops out of there. You can see there's water in there. Here's our main jet. A little brass little fitting right there. That's our main jet right there. Let's take a little wire. Make sure it goes in there nice and easy. We'll take a little bit of carburetor cleaner and flush it out. And you'll see the spray come through the vent tree of the carburetor. You go and use the air hose and blow these out real quick. That's all you really have to do with the carburetor. It's a really simple carburetor. Now we got this little indentation in the bottom of the bowl. That goes right over this where the main jet is. So it fits in like that. Not too much torque on them, it's just plastic. Now we can go ahead and put it back on the engine. I'm going to go ahead and take the plug out and check and see how it was burning and everything. 
burn a little bit on the Ritz side there, but that's probably because that air filter was so dirty. Got our new Briggs plug here. It's a gap to 35,000. I don't know, there's very many hours on this motor. It's like really nice and clean in here. And it just pushes back on until it clicks. All right, now we can start working on that carburetor. I better check the oil real quick. It's right on full. It's not even dirty. So we'll grab our governor linkage, put it back in the soil. And just slide it in there until it pops it on that intake tube. And then I'm going to go grab the gas tank. We're going to clean that out real quick and put that on. There's something clicking around in there. Grab the air hose and blow this out. See if I can get that thing out of that's making all that noise. A few little rocks came out of there, but there's like a... piece of plastic in there well, that's part of the part of the gas cap thing I believe there right, we go nice and clean now but our vent tube goes on here Pops into place there. I'm going to put our two little 930 second screws in. Now our two 5 sixteenths. All right, I'm going to blow this housing out here and I'm going to go grab, a, grab an air filter and a gas cap. Put that around the primer bulb. I found the older style gas tank. It's the same exact gas tank, but that gas cap that I showed earlier, the threads are there on the inside. I don't have a cap. So I'm just gonna blow this one out and put it on there. That way water won't get into it. I'll go ahead and just blow this one out just to double check, make sure it's clean. I wonder why they changed that configuration for the gas cap on these. But they just goes right in the exact same spot as the other one. Put these three bolts back in. So I guess all we have to do now is take it off the table, put some fresh gas in there, and see if it runs. Okay. Let's put some premium gas in there. Well, yeah, if you lose your gas cap or something, definitely don't use your lawnmower and don't keep your lawnmower outside. And try getting the gas cap as soon as possible. Yeah, push the primer button like three, four times. Well, there you go. It runs like new again. Anyways, if you had this kind of problem, hope this video helps you out. Appreciate you watching my videos. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please subscribe. Anyways, you have a good afternoon.